and hello, welcome back. Um, we're gonna talk more about this thing called create patch. As we've seen in the last video, we have already done this topo set, uh, which basically helps us to group faces in the mesh together. So I'm gonna uh, take, take a look at the faces that we have. So you see this thing called poly mesh, and we're going to look for sets. And look at that. We have the cylinder, the top patch, and the bottom patch. The cylinder means it's everything. Remember the negatives that we made as well. And there's the wall. So there are three important patches that we want to consider. There's the bottom patch, top patch, and the wall. So for now, we want to look for somewhere we can find the create patch dictionary. So I'm going to find in here, I name create patch dict. So this is going to show us all the places where we have the create patch dictionary. So um, you can just look at this one called uh, the incompressible over simple form, whatever that is. So I'm going to change directory to that, copy and paste. So let's see what the create patch dot dict looks like. Okay, so same thing as before, point sync, this is false. So blah 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 blah. So we want to make uh, the patch from the face sets. Okay. Alright, so here are some of the things. So let's copy and paste this thing over. CPAR. Okay, let's change directory again. CD git software snappy. So CD Gin pipe snappy pipe. I'm going to system and let's uh, put the file here. Okay, so cpar and then you have this create patch dict and you put it here. And then now we have the create patch dictionary in here. So there are three patches we want to make from the face set, remember? So now this one is a overset patch. We we construct from uh, uh, oversets. Well, uh, doesn't matter what this is. Remember, we want something similar to what we have here. So we have a new name, name of the new patch, and the type is. Instead of overset, we will get patch. It's the most generic uh, patch boundary condition. So the first one we want to get is the top patch, right? So we want to construct from face sets, and then well, construct from set. So I'll just leave the comments here because it's very helpful. Say either from patches or set. So this one we just ignore. The set will be called top patch. Yep. So I'm gonna write this in. Again, this is the wall. Patch type is uh, wall. Construct from set. And this set is named wall as well. Okay, I'm gonna leave the patches there. So name wall, patch info, also from wall. Construct from face set, which is just set in here. Patches don't care, they're not gonna read the entry if we say set. Um, yeah, so last one will be this one. Instead of front and back, we'll call it bottom pad. patch. 
type fetch construct from set and the set is bottom patch also so I'm gonna save and quit so let's try and run uh, create patch let's see if this works okay so it has written all this to the point 0 0.005 let's see what the file looks like in Paraview and apply so there will be two time steps this time and once we make the patch okay, the entire thing still looks the same but then let's look at the uh, if we just visualize the wall for example okay so look Ah, oh, okay uh, it looks pretty nice I mean if you scroll properly you can see that the cylinder is being hollowed out just as what we expected oops yeah so if you look at the top patch for example let me just press apply it will close one side and then if you just look at the top patch it's just this uh, disc looking thingy which is what we want for the most part we want the top patch to look like just a disc as far as possible just a disc which is the inlet and if we look at the bottom patch okay, we look at both we just see it's more or less looking like a disc but it's not that even a disc you can see some uh, rough edges to it but it's, to me it's tolerable and it kind of drives the point home that yeah you can create a patch from this so yeah you can see this creating patch is quite easy once we have the face sets on and you just see the wall again is just a hollow tube so this will be what we want the bound uh, wall boundary condition to look like yeah so I'm gonna scroll through and it looks hollow and empty and the sides look pretty smooth as well uh, except for a few rough edges yeah it's a good thing that uh, this 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 step is relatively easy once we have of course uh, once we have uh, all these uh, uh, patches properly written I mean the, the face sets properly defined so uh, I'm just going to run uh, create patch in override mode Okay. So now it's going to write this to the the zero file. Can you see? Okay. So just gonna wait for a while. Okay, it's finished. So, okay, I'm just going to remove the other file. Okay, so, so let's say we just have the bottom patch in the wall. I'm going to see it's a hollow cylinder with the other side closed so now we have our patches yep we can go and take a look at zero cd constant uh, polymesh vi boundary so we look at the boundary file we have three boundaries now we have the top patch the wall and the bottom patch right so now all these uh, have been written for us now we have done this uh, yeah, we can write into the run file. Okay, and then we upload it quickly into GitHub. Create patch overwrite. Uh, create patch dot log. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a log file, and then 
Now, let's see, create patch over right. Create So you can see the last step is pretty pretty simple. So we're gonna wait for it to run a while. Oh. See the create patch.log. Okay, so pretty much nothing's being done. I'll say uh, top patch already exists, wall already exists, bottom patch already exists, so doesn't really matter. Um so what I'm gonna do now? Uh, git status. I'm gonna upload all these things to GitHub. Git commit. Uh, message. Create. Patch. Edit. Okay. So git push origin master. Okay. So okay, doesn't matter. Uh, it all looks all looks pretty okay. So uh, yeah, that is it. We have uh, made the patch. Uh, we made the boundary conditions. Now we want to start. Uh, perhaps uh, using. Uh, uh, ICO foam on this uh, pipe file so we have one inlet which will be maybe you have a pressure boundary condition or maybe we have a constant velocity boundary condition so that we can see the boundary layers forming and then we have uh, we also have a, what do you call that yeah we have a zero gradient outlet condition and we'll talk more about that in the next video so thanks for watching I'll see you guys again bye bye